sunglasses on and walked out like nothing happened. I'm finally free. All because of Morty. What a romantic story about our son killing a room full of people. Your turn. Uh, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oi, don't punch my lunch. Aha, eat it. I'm out of food cards. How about I loan you two quiche at 10%? That's so generous. <sighs> my turn. Double sixes, baby. One, so, two, what's next for Planetina? Three, well, four, now that I'm not five, distracted by six, book signings and publicity seven, stunts, Morty and I can concentrate on more important things. Like school. Like eight, moving in. Planetina eight, doesn't have a ten, place to stay eleven, now, so twelve. I said she could yes. live with us. Holy shit, Morty, I'm no. So what do you mean, cool. no? Woo. Don't punch my line. <laughs> I wouldn't be a burden, Mrs. Smith. I only want to spend as much time as possible with your son. My son is 14, miss. I'm sorry, Morty, you're way too young. But y you were a teenager when Dad got you pregnant. I was 17. That's at least 26 in boy years. I'm sure Planetina is very nice, but when you're a teenager, love is fleeting at best. You underestimate Morty. He is a very mature young man. See, Mom, I told you. This is not happening. End of discussion. Planetina, I think you should leave, please. Okay, Mrs. Smith. Oh, no. Mom, I hate you. You suck. Hey, now, it's only a game. Shut up. Okay. My whole life, I've never fit in anywhere. Everything I have to say is always met with an eye roll, as if the act of hearing what I have to say is some exhausting chore. Nobody in this family thinks I can say or do anything right. I've been all over the universe, met hundreds of people, and Planetina's the only one I've ever met that makes me feel like I belong, and you just kicked her out of our house. Morty, please. I will never forgive you for this. Take the soul. Morty! Morty, come back!